Welcome to a tutorial by Tech and Web Guy, where today we're going to talk about WPKG integration with Active Directory. Um, so, what do you need to integrate WPKG into your Active Directory? So, let's start by going to our server and opening our Group Policy Management console. And from here, I've placed mine, which is called WPKG install. You can call the name of the Group Policy object, whatever you want. You also notice that I'm enforcing it and I have link enabled. Um, I'm placing at the root of my computers. I put all my computers um, in my domain in one folder and then I apply to that, to every computer, the WPKG. So what does it do? If we look at our settings, show all, mine does a couple things. It runs the start bat located in my net login folder and that's pretty important. The next two things is listed on the WPKG website is to set the login interval time and to also allow scripts to run asynchronously. What that allows is if you don't set this, when the computer logs in, it'll wait to log in until the script is done. And if you're installing a large application through WPKG, that's considered part of the script. So you want it to log in and allow the scripts to run in the background. Can this affect how your computers log in? Yes, it can. It can make them run a little bit slower. Um, it's also going to allow scripts to run after they've logged in. So if things are, if the user interface is dependent on anything you're doing, you might want to make sure that that one runs first. So really what you do is you set up the path under the Windows settings, scripts, startup, you set your um, startup path. I don't like copying stuff to the folder to run, I like pointing it to a directory. That way you can change it once, you don't have to worry about your group policy. The next thing you change is on the administrative templates, system scripts, and policies. And the policies are the maximum wait time for group policy scripts, and the second one is uh, run startup scripts asynchronously. So after that, let's take a look. I'm just going to go to my net login folder here. In my net login folder, I place all my WPKGs folder. So it's important to also know that if you are in an environment where security is an issue, you're going to want to restrict under your properties, under your security, you're going to want to restrict access to this WPKG to administration only. Um, users don't need to be able to read this file, which is kind of the great thing behind it, um, that it runs through the system. So they don't need access to it for it to work. Okay, so again, this if this should look familiar. If this does not look familiar, um, you should review my other documentation, my other video that I have, which is a WPKG overview. Um, if you just search Google, Google, you'll find it on the first page. Um, also, now that we're here, okay, so now that we're here, what are we looking for? Um, I have my WPKG.start.debug, and if I back up a level, um, I put my WPKG start right under my net login folder and let's take a look and see what that does. Okay, so it says run this script, which is the JS script inside of our inside our active directory. Inside of our so it says run this script, which is the script inside of our WPKG. It says run it synchronize quiet and not notification. You want those three options. Um, they're important to run so that the user doesn't get distracted. Now the debug one is one that I'll run specifically on that computer which is C script um, points to it synchronously except for just debug and I also put a pause statement at the end of it so that way when I'm using it um, it doesn't just go away it stops at the end so I can see what it's done because some of it goes by very fast so that's really all that you need um, when setting up WPKG in your Active Directory environment it's pretty straightforward pretty simple as overviewed in my WP in my WPKG overview, I've talked about the host pool, which allows you to pull in your computers from an Active Directory environment. Um, I'll also put the code up on my Tech and Web Guy WPKG basic training.